China now controls 70% of the world's high-speed rail. The US? Barely any. China's new stealth fighter jet is stealing headlines. America's military budget. A whopping $1 trillion, yet it's struggling to keep up. What's going on? How is China pulling ahead in almost every major industry? And why does the US seem to be falling behind? In this video, we're talking about the numbers no one wants to face and the strategies that have made China unstoppable. From their tech breakthroughs to their game-changing infrastructure, this is the story of how China took the lead and why America can't seem to keep up. Let's get into it. China's Technological Breakthroughs China is making waves with some of the most impressive tech advancements we've seen in years. Just take their latest sixth-generation stealth fighter jet as an example. It's not only tailless, a huge leap in aviation technology, but also a bold statement to the world. China didn't try to hide this. They wanted people to see it. And then there's high-speed rail. China has built over 47,000 kilometers of it, more than any other country by a long shot. For context, this network is 7,000 kilometers longer than the Earth's circumference. Their newest train prototype, it reaches speeds of 450 km per hour, set to be the fastest in the world once operational. Meanwhile, the US still struggles to get any significant rail projects off the ground. China's advances aren't limited to transportation and defense. They're dominating solar energy, electric vehicles, and even consumer apps. In 2024, a Chinese e-commerce app, Temu, became the most downloaded app in the US, racking up 700 million visits a month and over $50 billion in sales last year. This success shows how China's tech is no longer just for domestic use. They are shaping global markets. These breakthroughs aren't happening by accident. China has poured $9 trillion into infrastructure and tech since 2005, completely reshaping its economy. In the same time, the US spent the same amount on wars with no lasting benefits. This is why China is now leading in industries like biopharma, robotics, and renewable energy. But how is China able to pull this off? The answer lies in its strategy for self-reliance and a game-changing policy called Made in China 2025. China's self-reliance and Made in China 2025. China didn't just wake up one day as a tech giant. It's the result of years of planning and investment. Back in 2015, they launched the Made in China 2025 initiative. The goal, to dominate key industries like robotics, biotech, and clean energy. Take wind and solar power, for example. China saw the risk of relying on imported oil and gas, especially in times of conflict. So they invested heavily in renewable energy. Now they're the global leader in solar panels and wind turbines, ensuring they never have to depend on others for energy. This push for self-reliance has transformed China's manufacturing sector. In 2000, they accounted for just 6% of global manufacturing. By 2030, they're projected to make up nearly 50%. That's half of the world's manufacturing, coming from one country. China's investments in high-tech industries are paying off too. They become self-sufficient in technologies like semiconductors and electric vehicles, areas where the US once had the upper hand. In fact, a Bloomberg report shows that China has already taken the lead in 5 out of 13 future critical industries, like green energy and advanced computing, and is catching up fast in the others. The numbers don't lie. While the US is focused on slowing China down with tariffs and export bans, China is doubling down on building its future. And they're not stopping. Their tech dominance is a direct result of their commitment to innovation and self-reliance. E-commerce giants and the trade gap. China isn't just leading in tech and manufacturing, it's also dominating global e-commerce. Temu, a Chinese shopping app, shows exactly how they're winning. In 2024, Temu became the most downloaded app in the US, pulling in over 700 million monthly visits and $50 billion in sales. And it's not just Temu. Platforms like Sheen, a fast fashion giant, have also taken the world by storm. Here's the thing, these companies don't just sell products, they found clever ways to bypass tariffs. Most of the items they sell are under $800, so they enter the US duty-free. On top of that, Purchases from apps like Temu and Shine aren't even included in official trade data. That means the actual amount of goods coming from China is much higher than what the numbers show. This trade gap has left US policymakers scratching their heads. Despite all the tariffs and restrictions, 
China's e-commerce giants are thriving because American consumers simply want good products at low prices. Politics doesn't matter to shoppers, they just want the best deals. China's ability to dominate e-commerce goes hand in hand with their massive manufacturing power. They produce the goods, control the platforms, and then sell directly to consumers worldwide. This strategy is unbeatable, especially when US companies struggle to compete with China's scale and efficiency. But China's e-commerce dominance is just one part of the puzzle. The bigger issue for the US is its steady decline in innovation, which is leaving the country further and further behind. So, while China is clearly playing the long game, what does this mean for the US and why can't it seem to compete? Let's take a closer look at the economic and political missteps holding America back. US Decline in Innovation The US used to be the leader in global innovation, but over the past few decades, things have changed. A Bloomberg report highlights a major shift. While China has been steadily increasing the number of patents it files each year, the US has been going in the opposite direction. China's investment in research and development is paying off. They're leading in industries like biopharma, renewable energy, and robotics. Meanwhile, the US has seen a decline in its ability to create and innovate. This isn't just about falling behind in tech. It's about losing the ability to compete in the industries that will shape the future. One reason for this decline is focus, or rather, lack of it. While China has poured trillions into infrastructure, tech, and manufacturing, the US spent the same amount on wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. That money didn't build industries or create jobs at home. China's long-term strategy is clear. Invest in the future, dominate critical industries, and lead the world. The US, on the other hand, has been reactive, focusing more on slowing China down than on building itself up. The numbers that matter Numbers never lie, and when we compare the US and China, the gap becomes clear. Back in 2000, China only made up 6% of global manufacturing. Fast forward to 2030, and experts say China will account for nearly 50% of the world's manufacturing. That's half of everything being made globally, while the US keeps losing its share. Now let's talk patents, proof of innovation. Over the last three decades, the US has been slipping. Fewer patents are being filed compared to before. Meanwhile, China's numbers keep climbing. Industries like biotech, robotics, and renewable energy are where China shines, with the US struggling to keep up. Even in military spending, China is showing it can do more with less. The US spends about $1 trillion a year, yet China is rapidly advancing its military with far less money. Their new fighter jets, navy, and advanced tech prove they know how to maximize resources. And here's a staggering stat. Since 2005, China has spent $9 trillion on infrastructure and technology. Compare that to the US, which spent the same amount on wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. One built a stronger economy, the other didn't. These numbers tell a story of focus, strategy, and priorities. But they also highlight lessons the US can learn from China's approach. Let's explore how America can turn things around. Lessons from China China's rise shows the power of long-term planning. They didn't get here by accident. It started with initiatives like Made in China 2025. This plan focused on making China self-reliant in key industries like tech, manufacturing, and clean energy. The US can learn from this by setting its own clear goals for the future instead of reacting to challenges as they happen. China also knows how to adapt. When the US imposed tariffs, companies like Temu and Shein found ways to work around them and keep growing. The US needs to embrace this type of creativity instead of just focusing on trade restrictions. Another big lesson, investing in renewable energy. China dominates the solar panel and wind power markets, making them less reliant on outside resources. For the US, this is a chance to catch up and make clean energy a top priority for both the economy and national security. Finally, the US needs to stop trying to hold China back and start focusing on building itself up. More funding for education, research, and infrastructure could make a real difference. Competing with China isn't about stopping them. It's about making America stronger. The US may feel like it's falling behind, but this is also a chance to rethink its strategy. Let's wrap up by looking at why this moment could shape the future for both nations. The race between the US and China isn't just about who's ahead right now. It's about who's building a future that's sustainable and innovative. But this isn't a competition with only one winner. The future of technology and business will depend on collaboration and shared growth. 
Imagine a world where the US learns from China's successes and works to strengthen its own economy, not just in military spending, but in areas that improve people's lives. The question isn't just, can the US compete with China? It's, can both nations use their strengths to shape a better future for the world? Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to BIT International for more insights into the world of tech and business.